Okay, so in this part of the video is where we go for the gusto. We're gonna demonstrate the benefit of having the Cosmo XL. Up until now, everything you've seen and everything we've done could be done equally as well on either the Cosmo or the Cosmo XL. Wouldn't make a difference, but in this video, we're gonna connect the sanding to the finishing, to the drying, to the sanding of the finish. And in order for that to happen, we need a machine that can work pretty autonomously with flipping the doors and everything, which is what the Cosmo XL does. So I'm hoping in this video that we're gonna demonstrate how much faster it is to connect the processes going to a single piece flow rather than batches moving through the factory. So without further ado, let's go. Now, although the Cosmo XL right there uh, fully has the capability of sanding the edges uh, for this experiment, we're still going to run the edges through the ultimate edge sander. It's, it's just faster, better. I mean, it would break my heart not to use it, but the Cosmo XL can easily sand edges as well. So without further ado, we're going to start our next 20 doors that are right behind me. We're going to start at the edge sander and we're gonna bring them up here, connecting all of the processes. Okay, so this is gonna be my attempt at explaining what's about to unfold and why. Now, we're connecting the sanding to the spraying, the drying to the spraying, and back to the sanding, all in a single piece flow fashion. And so, where we get that concept of like needing to dry things faster is slowing me down is because when we're batch producing and I'm sanding 20 doors, the first door I sand is just sitting there. So if it takes me two hours to sand those 20 doors, the first door has been sitting actually for two hours. Then I go to the spray booth and then I have to spray all 20. Well, now I wanna sand them. So I'm in a big panic to get them dry. So therefore I need to escalate my drying activity somehow, some way. Whereas in a single piece flow fashion, we're not gonna let one of those seconds go to waste. So we're gonna sand a door, immediately paint the door. So while we're sanding the next door, the paint is already starting to dry. So by the time we've got to the last door, almost all of the paint is gonna be dry, probably I'm guessing on both sides of the door. So what we did, batch processing in two hours, I suspect we're gonna get them sanded and painted in the same amount of time. Now, this is gonna happen live. There's way too much footage to edit, so what you're probably gonna see me doing in the video is what I would call a little bit of uh, work balancing between me and the machines and line balancing between the stations. So I'm just gonna start with what my best guess of how much time I need is, and then we're gonna go, and I'm just gonna tweak it as I go. So here we go. Hopefully we capture enough footage to really give everybody an understanding of, of what's going on. But the important part is gonna be the time, which at the end we'll do a big discussion on each segment of the video that we made. So without further ado, let's go. Now you're gonna to have to watch pretty close to see what's going on. I'll do my best to explain it as we go, but because the video is going so fast, you're gonna to have to hold on to your hat. Um, also, probably what we're demonstrating here is, you know, maybe what they say about lean is for 2% of the population, uh, the rest of everybody's going to argue it or tell me it's not going to work or something. But anyway, for those who embrace it, you're about to really uh, get a glimpse into how fast your finishing could be and how low the cost could be. So if you see what's going on here, I'm sanding the hand sanding portion, which is the part that you know, a robot or any machine can't do. And then watch the bottom left corner, the robot sanding while I'm spraying. There's the magic. Those processes are completely connected. 
So in the same time that you're normally just sanding, you're actually sanding and spraying. So effectively, the spraying is happening at zero cost in terms of labor to you. So a bunch of that is rinse and repeat over and over. So let's fast forward a whole bunch of doors and then witness what's happening next. And the magic continues. Watch close as this door gets sprayed. That's the front side of the first batch of doors. And so all of that dry time that we're trying to avoid is actually an illusion because it's getting absorbed up in the sanding time. So now the doors that I'm spraying the front side on have been sitting there already for 30 minutes. So they're dry. The bottom door in that rack is soaking wet. So there's a big time difference there when you're batch processing and you're really subordinating your activity to the last door in line and punishing the first door. So in this case, I'm able to get the door sprayed on both sides in the same time as the hand sanding is happening. So let's fast forward again. If by this point you're not rubbing your eyes saying, I can't believe what I'm seeing, uh, I don't know if we can help you. Because <laughs> we are still raw sanding the wood doors and we are more than halfway through priming both sides of the painted doors. See, there's still raw doors going through the machine. So as we come up to the last few raw doors, then you're going to see we just transition straight into the primer and keep the exact same system running. So now let's fast forward again uh, right into the primer sanding and you'll see we're just repeating the same system. We don't need more than two racks ever and all of the drying is happening again inside of the time that it's taking us to sand them. So now I will walk out of the booth with a primer both side sanded both side door and start putting the second coat of primer on one face. Now look at what's going on to the spray table now. There's those doors are still raw on one side yet at the beginning of those doors like door number one we're already putting the second coat on one side and all we had to do was leave a little bit of space on the rack just so we didn't get confused as to which doors go where. So now let's really speed this up. I mean, this is going so fast you can't even see what's going on. But you can see we're working our way down that rack and we're working our way down the other rack. Very simple to keep track of. So what's really being demonstrated here is the power of connecting your processes. Uh, everybody thought it was a finishing contest as, as in, you know, going head to head with a spray machine but that only tells half the story. That only tells the story between the start of the spray machine and the end of the spray machine. But your value stream actually starts when the door is raw and ends when the door is top coated. So to ignore all that other activity is just a humongous mistake. So we have to include all of that other activity inside of this process and then you can see the results that we can get. So depending on what equipment you have, how you run it, and this process you're using, you may be inadvertently being forced into batches, and usually the bigger the batch, the worse it is. So the big takeaway here is not necessarily what system and what equipment you're running, but way, 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 way more importantly, how are you running it? Oh, baby! Two hours, 56 minutes.